Hello, welcome, it's me, Beverly from Pilates with Beverly Denshaw, and excited to share with you five secrets to how to incorporate Pilates into your everyday lifestyle. Tip one, are you ready? <laughs> Tip one is relax. It's so simple, and yet all you actually have to do is do it. And the best thing to do is to do it every day. And the great thing about Pilates is when you're doing your exercises is you are concentrating so much that you're relaxing and switching off. And the top tip here is for you to have a lie down every single day of your life. Treat yourself once, maybe even twice a day for a minute or more is wonderful. So, so many benefits of it. It's good for your back. It's good for your neck, it's good for your whole spine, it's good for your discs in your spine, it makes you feel better, improves your posture, improves your muscle balance, your alignment of your body, it's very relaxing, it helps your breathing, and you're going to have a lie down now, I'm going to show you how. So ideally you might have a good mat or a nice blanket folded into four, roll onto your side, roll onto your back and have your knees bent, feet hip width apart, hands on your rib cage, head straight, have a cushion behind your head if you like, tummy, tummy relaxed to start with and all you're going to do is breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. By the way, your second tip is breathing, so you can combine the relaxation with the breathing here. In through your nose, out through your mouth. You can shut your eyes if you like for this bit, releasing your head, neck and shoulders, breathing in through your nose, into your back sides of your ribs, and relaxing as you exhale. For the relaxation breathing though, you can let your tummy relax at this stage, in through your nose, out through your mouth, relaxing your back, hips and thighs. One more like this, breathing in. As you breathe out, releasing through your chest and shoulders. And then what you want to do is bring your arms out to shoulder height, if that's comfortable, with your palms facing up. Or if that's more comfortable for you, you can have your arms anywhere from out to your side or maximum shoulder height. But you have to listen to your body and do what's comfortable for you. In through your nose out through your mouth, four more times, breathing in, and relaxing as you exhale, like you're lying on some soft, warm sand, breathing in, you might like to take yourself to a favourite beach while you do this, relaxing as you exhale, it's an effortless way to relax and improve your posture, at home you can put your favourite music on, all quiet and whichever you prefer on the day. Breathing in, two more, and breathing out. Last one, in through your nose, out through your mouth, then put your hands on your tummy and roll your head side to side a couple of times. I'm going to roll onto my side, come up to sitting. You can stay there if you like, or you can slowly roll onto your side, come up to sitting. So another way of using your relaxation and breathing in daily life, this is a really good tip. And it's just because you can, it's portable. You can take your relaxation and breathing wherever you are in the world, whether you're at home, whether you're at work, whether you just got out of the car. And you can do this with your eyes shut. And you can also do this with your eyes open. Of course, you want to be stationary, you're not driving in a car, of course. So you're going to, all you're going to do is just take, take a little break from what you're doing. So what, how you do this is you simply sit or stand tall. You don't have to sit like this, of course. <laughs> it's not comfortable for everyone to sit like this. You can either sit in a chair or just standing or whilst you're walking along as well. Obviously, eyes open if you're walking along. Eyes at eye level, shoulders relaxed. It's like you've got helium balloons through the top of your head and you just simply can do it with me now. You can just, as you're stationary at the moment, shut your eyes. You're going to breathe in through your nose. As you exhale, relax your shoulders, happy shoulders. Breathing in through your nose, breathing out, feeling calm and serene and relaxed. Twice more in through your nose and out through your mouth. Last one in through your nose. Relax your tummy at the moment out through your mouth. 
That's a good way of switching off. Slowly open your eyes now. So you can do that when you've got out of the car, after a long car journey, uh, it's been a bit stressful at work or home, just you know, go to another room and just do four breaths in and out of your Pilates breathing it can be really, really helpful. So that's your tip one and two. And treat yourself to some relaxation and breathing every single day of your life and have a lie down every day. That's that one. <laughs> and next one is on your deep abdominals. So don't actually have to sit like this. This is just to demonstrate for you. Put your hands on your tummy muscles and what you're going to do is gently scoop your tummy muscles in and then relax them. Scoop your tummy muscles in and you want to work your deep abdominals every single day of your life, your deep abdominals. So they go in and then relax. And then during your Pilates exercises, you want these muscles, these deep abdominals, that's part, a big part of your core stability to be working every time you're doing your exercises. Equally though, if you're lifting something in daily life, you're bending, you're lifting, um, you're playing your sport and exercise, doing your Pilates, work these muscles. You scoop them in just about 30%, so it's that one notch on about, just gently the muscles go in. That is tip three, very simple. So you've got your relaxation, your breathing, and your abdominals. Then you've got your alignment. Please, step four, tip four, please do not slouch. It doesn't make you feel very good. Other ways of slap, some people lean back and, and bend forward and um, it causes backache and all sorts of things. So please don't slump. So when you are sitting and standing, just sit, have your back nice and straight and it's like you've got helium balloons through the top of your head and just keep your back nice and relaxed when you're sitting there. That's a really, really good tip. And now I'm going to finish with a couple of um, exercises for you. So that you can do every single day. First one is have a, have a lie down and have a little stretch in your back. You're going to hug your knees into your chest and you can do this in bed even. You really can honestly and it releases and stretches your back and prevents back problems. You're going to, it helps to prevent them. You're going to breathe in and breathe out then. At home you can do that up to five times. Then a lovely, another lovely stretch, feet down one at a time, is your side to side stretch for your back. Feet together, knees together, and your legs go one way and your head goes the other way. You're breathing in in the middle and you're breathing out as you go to the side. Inhale to the middle, exhale to the other side. And you've got five of these, really, really nice. One more each side like this. Tummy in all the time, of course. That's your abdominal, deep abdominals working. Stretches your back, keep going, and your hips tones your waistline, releases your neck, mobilises your neck, opens up and improves your posture. And then finally, a back stretch for you on all fours. Your cat stretch, knees beneath hips, hands beneath the shoulders, and you simply arch up like a cat, and then you come back to your starting position. So it's about there, it's perfect. And then you slowly arch up like a cat again. Relax your head down, your tummy is in, tummy muscles are nice and scooped in, and back to starting position. Breathing in, as you breathe out, arch up, hold it, breathe in, and breathe out as you come back. And these are just three exercises you can do every single day of your life. They're pretty simple, make sure they're comfortable for you. And for lots more inspiration and videos, just go to Pilates with Beverly Dentium on YouTube and Pilates with Beverly Dentium, that's me, <laughs> on Facebook. And I really hope that helps you every single day of your life because you really can incorporate Pilates into your everyday life. And that is what makes the biggest, biggest difference. And that's bye from me, Pilates with Beverly Dentium. Bye!